the man to watch. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Southampton up against West Bromwich Albion. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. So for Southampton, parity prevailed in the last game. A draw against Crystal Palace. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? Well, in a tight game, the draw wasn't necessarily a bad result. Today, though, if they play with a bit more purpose from the start, I think they'll win this one. Well, how can you make a case for the visitors today? They have the worst defence in the league and they're facing, lo and behold, the team with the best attacking record. Well, you can't make a case for them, Derek. I've loved coming here to watch them before. Can he finish this? And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. Now, sending it in. And an ordinary header, and that's probably being charitable. Grant. And a goal to fill you in on in the Brighton game. Details come from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Brighton. It's now 1-0 with 12 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Mowat. Chalabar. Lastly, time tackle. Getting forward. And a very good challenge. Chalaba. Oh, he's given the ball away. A bit wasteful from West Bromwich Albion. Alcaraz. Chalabar, they couldn't hang on to it again. Able to skip past his man. Well, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, news to bring you from the Everton game, and Alex Scott is on the case. It's a goal for Everton. They're the first on the score sheet here with 24 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. And Taylor, Mowat, Taylor, Sarmiento, Mowat, Grant, 
What can they do from here? Chalabar. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. And the clearance over the byline means a corner. And there's the delivery. Not the most confident clearance. Oh, body in the way, crucially. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, could be. Well, body in the way. Cross could be useful. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Ajay. Shalaba. Jensen has it. Mowit. Ryan Turek. Clean challenge. Well, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because I'm hearing the situation has changed in the Everton game, Alex. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with under five minutes left to play till half-time. Thanks as always, Alex. Carlos Alcaraz. Well, getting the ball forward. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. The body's forward and the break looks on. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute and swiftly ending that attack. So nothing to choose between the teams at half-time as the referee blows his whistle. Stuart, your impressions of our hosts? Yeah, we've been lauding their attack in play, but today they've just been below their normal standards. They've lacked that little bit of sharpness, but credit to their opponents, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. A really effective shielding under pressure. And possession given away. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Is it going to be? Oh, striking the crossbar. You can't get much closer than that. Wasteful from West Brom. Able to skip past his man. No oh, chance perhaps. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Tullock. 
He read the situation defensively and did his job. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Southampton facing Bournemouth. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. And news of a goal in the West Ham match. And Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal from Manchester City. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. They're ahead by two now, with 53 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Pippa. Taylor. Jensen. Nathaniel Chalaba here. Grant. Sarmiento. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's West Bromwich Albion facing Fulham. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. And continues his run. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. They've decided that now is the time to... Go oh, it's a wild, wild finish. Of course, stats don't always tell the story, but on this occasion, they certainly do because they haven't been good enough in the top third of the pitch. And I'm not sure we're gonna see anything change here. Esri Konsa. This is looking threatening. Oh, surely. Well, the post got in the way. Well, defensive resilience there. They've got it now. What can they do? And he takes it on. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And a substitution in the offing. Over it comes. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Appear to be in two minds, firing it towards goal. Oh, that is a superb save. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Managed to get it out of there. Well, pressure building, another corner. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Well, another corner, can they take advantage of this one? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Let's see about the delivery. Well, not the best clearance. Excellent strike! Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Well, a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And there's the delivery. And clearing his lines. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. West Brom unable to hold on to the ball. Lang. And he takes it on. Oh, yes! He's going to be proud of that moment. What purity of strike. Caught it absolutely perfectly.
So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Well, just hearing someone has scored in the West Ham game, Alex Scott can provide us with the details. It's a goal for West Ham. They're now behind by one with just over 10 minutes left to Now play. jumping in because this is a chance. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. It's with Jed Wallace. Just ten minutes to go. And Jensen with it. He's protecting it well. Ajay. Jensen. It's with Taylor. Pipa. Taylor with it. Mowat. Really good challenge. A danger here as he runs at them. A goal! He's dispatched it! Back to the sheer delight of the fans! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Mowat. Jensen. Taylor with it. Pipa. On to Taylor. And Griffiths has it now. And support available. Oh, could be! And a goal! That's his brace! They just can't keep him quiet! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Pipa. Mowat. And Jensen with it. An effective challenge. And the final whistle has sounded. Reasons to be cheerful for Southampton fans on the back of this victory. Well, you can see why they're the top scorers, because they play with such freedom, and they have players who can run with the ball. Against the poor defence, it was all too easy today.